Calc 12, Chapter 8.6. This time we're going to look at the binomial theorem. Let's review Pascal's triangle and identify the features. If we have n choose r, this means we're working on row number n plus 1. And there are n plus 1 number of terms in that row. n is also the second and second last term in that row. Okay, let's look at binomial expansion. If we have x plus y to the power of 0, that's 1. Remember that anything to the power of 0 is 1. That's the first row of Pascal's triangle. If we have x plus y to the power of 1, that's simply x plus y. Let's look at the coefficients. This is 1x and 1y. So we have 1, 1. x plus y squared. You know how to do this one? It's x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. But let's look at the coefficients. We have 1, 2, 1. That's the third row of Pascal's triangle, 1, 2, 1. x plus y cubed. You may not ha know how to do this, but if you see the pattern, we would have 1x cubed, 3x squared y, 3xy squared, and 1y cubed following Pascal's triangle, 1, 3, 3, 1. And x plus y to the power of 4. 1, x to the power of 4, plus 4, x cubed, y. Notice we're decreasing the x exponent and increasing the y exponent. Plus 6, x squared, y squared, plus 4, x, y cubed, plus 1, y to the power of 4, and dot, dot, dot. So the binomial theorem can be written out as follows. x plus y to the power of n. We have n choose 0, x to the power of n, plus n choose 1, x to the power of n minus 1, y to the power of 1, plus n choose 2, x to the power of n minus 2, y to the power of 2, plus dot dot dot, plus n choose n minus 1, x to the power of 1, y to the power of n minus 1, plus n choose n, y to the power of n. Another way to look at this is x to the power of n plus n, x to the power of n minus 1, y to the power of 1, plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial, x to the power of n minus 2, y to the power of 2, plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial, x to the power n minus 3, y to the power of 3, plus dot, dot, dot. In general, the kth term of x plus y to the power n is n choose k minus 1. x to the power of n minus k minus 1 y to the power of k minus 1. Here's a slightly harder problem. We have 3a minus 2b all to the power of 4. We need to substitute properly. x is equal to 3a, y is equal to negative 2b. So we have 4, choose 0, x to the power of 4, 4, choose 1, x to the power of 3, y to the power of 1, dot, dot, dot. So, 4, choose 0, that's 1. And x to the power of 4, so use brackets, 3a to the power of 4, plus 4, choose 1 is 4, 3a to the power of 3. And we have negative 2b to the power of 1 plus 4 choose 2, that's 6, 3a squared, negative 2b squared, plus 4, 3a to the power of 1, negative 2b cubed, plus negative 2b to the power of 4. And we get 81a to the power of 4, minus 216 a cubed b. 
So this is 27 times 4 times negative 2 plus 216a squared b squared. This is 6 times 9 times negative 2 squared, that's 4. Here we're going to have a minus sign again. And 4 times 3 times negative 2 cubed is 96 a b cubed plus 16 b to the power of 4. Now determine the fourth term of x squared minus 4x plus 4 to the power of 5. This is not a binomial, this is a trinomial. So use factoring first. So we have x minus 2 squared to the power of 5. This is, we use the power of a power law, x minus 2 to the power of 10. So this is the binomial expansion that we're working off of. So the fourth term we have 10 choose 3. We have x to the power of 10 minus 3. And we have negative 2. This is the negative 2 to the power of 3. So we have 120 from this. We have x to the power of 7 and we have negative 8. So combining the coefficients, we have negative 960 x to the power of 7. Here's a kind of backwards problem. We need to determine the binomial power when we're given this expression. So we really only need to look at the leading term and the trailing term. So a to the power of 4 equals 81 x to the power of 4. So we take the fourth root of both sides. And we notice that a equals, this is an even root, so we have plus or minus. And the fourth root of 81 is 3, and the fourth root of x to the power of 4 is x. Over on this side, we have b to the power of 4 is equal to y to the power of 4 over 16. So the fourth root of b is just b, and now we have plus or minus the fourth root of y to the power of 4 over 16. So we have plus or minus the fourth root of y to the 4 is y. Fourth root of 16 is 2. So we have b is plus or minus y is over 2. Our answer, we don't have four answers. It's just 3x minus y over 2 to the power of 4. Or we notice that we have minus. So we have to have a minus here. So the other way to write this is just y over 2 minus 3x to the power of 4. So we have to make either a or b negative and not both positive as well. Here's another example. 1 over 27x cubed plus dot dot dot. So we only need to consider the first and the last. a cubed equals x cubed over 27. So the cube root of x cubed over 27. So a is equal to x over 3. b cubed equals negative 64y cubed. So b equals the cube root of negative 64y cubed. Cube root of negative 64 is negative 4. 
cube root of y cubed is y. This time we only have one answer because the cube root gives us the correct sign. There is no plus or minus. And in fact, any odd root will give you the proper sign and not a plus or minus. So our answer is x minus three minus four y all cubed. So I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. Shake it off, I shake it off. Shake it off, I shake it off. Congratulations, you've finished this course. I hope you've learned something from these video lessons. And that completes this course.